All right, hello boys and girls. My name is Firefighter Jason and I'm here with my friends, Firefighter Ashley and Firefighter Mike. And today we are gonna bring you into our home where we live and work for long periods of time. And we're gonna teach you how to do a fire safety scavenger hunt at home where you guys are gonna act as the teachers to the adults at home. So come on in and let's get going. Hey Mike, what are you doing? I'm uh, just finishing up some laundry. Laundry? How often do you, whoa, 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 what are you what? doing? Buddy, first things first, right? There's fire safety here, did you know that? You know what, you're right. I forgot to check the lint vent. All right. And, and it had lint in it. So kids, you gotta make sure that when you're doing laundry, you pull the screen out and pull the lint off of it. Fire safety first. And boys and girls, please remember, that it's very important that you tell the adults at home that we have to clean the entire dryer vent from the back of the dryer to the outside of the house at least twice a year. Mike, what are you doing now? I'm just cooking up some lunch. I'm gonna go grab something out of the pantry. Whoa, 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 dude, where are you going? What? Even in a firehouse, it's not safe to leave the stove unattended while you're cooking. <sighs> you're absolutely right. You have to remember that when you're cooking, one of the most dangerous things in a kitchen is to have pan handles turned out towards the rest of the kitchen because they can tip. Always turn them to the side so little ones can't reach up and grab them. And boys and girls, it's also important to remember what we call firefighters three foot rule. And what that means is you have to stay at least three feet away from things that are hot like stove tops. So imagine there's a force field around the stove where little people can't go. The other thing to remember too is to teach the adults that we wanna keep things that are combustible like paper towels, plastic coffee makers, as far away from the stovetop as we can. And please remember too, that should a fire occur on your stovetop, the easiest way to correct that is turn off the heat and very carefully put a lid on top and the fire goes out. Can you plug my phone charger in for me? Of course. Thank you. Hey Mike, what are you doing? Just plugging Liz's charger in for her. <sighs> Buddy, it is the firehouse and we still have to think about fire safety just like we do at home. Oh, you're right, look at all these cords. Do you know what we have here? A fire hazard. Arcs and sparks, buddy. Arcs and sparks. So what do we do to fix it? We have to clean up all these cords and we can only have one cord plugged in per outlet. We can't have all these power sources. Great job, buddy. I'll let you fix it and I'll move on to the next thing. Sorry, Liz. Good for fire, this is Michael. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Mike, did you do this? Yeah, I lit the candle while I was reading my paper. But you weren't here. No, I had to take a phone call. Buddy, it's a firehouse. We need to think about fire safety just like we do at home. And I left an unintended candle. That's right. Never, ever, ever leave a candle unattended in your home or the fire station. All right, boys and girls, so listen. Here at the Bedford Fire Department, we do have our uniforms that we wear when we're on duty, but we can't go into a fire dressed like this. So now, Firefighter Ashley is gonna show you some of the funny stuff that firefighters have to wear in order to go into a fire. You ready, Ashley? I'm ready. So, first things first, she's gonna take off her station boots. Now, boys and girls, the cool thing here is our boots have zippers, so we do not have to tie them, all right? Now, Firefighter Ashley has something cool here, right? We have our head, we have our ears in the back of our neck. This is a hood which protects all of that. So Ashley has the hood on now and that's gonna make sure that she has no skin exposed on her head. You ready? Next, we have our boots and our pants that are attached together, my friends. You boys and girls may wanna try this with your snow pants this winter. It'll make your teacher's lives and your parents' lives a little bit easier. All right, so you'll notice we have the suspenders that hold our pants up. We also have these giant knee pads here. And boys and girls, when we were in your schools recently, you heard us talk about stay low and go. Even with all this crazy stuff that firefighters wear, we still crawl around inside of fires, all right? So next, Ashley is gonna put her coat on.
All right, she's gonna zip it up. Now she's not quite ready yet, okay? We're gonna do one other thing. Now my friends, this right here is nothing more than a very special backpack. And inside of this backpack right here, there's air like we're breathing right now. We just use a special machine to get it inside of there. Now this tank holds 45 minutes worth of air. Now that doesn't really mean that we can stay inside of a building for 45 minutes. It depends on how hard we're working, okay? So it has the air in here. This little piece right here is a different color. That actually glows in the dark. So when we are inside of a fire, we can see our partner, all right, uh, when we're crawling around. You ready, Ashley? We're gonna put this on. All right, so now Ashley has her backpack on. Now what I'm gonna do is turn it on. You're gonna hear three beeps and something vibrate. All right, so Ashley, I'm gonna have you turn around real quick. Now boys and girls, if you ever look up in the sky at night and you see an airplane, how do you know? You see the little blinky lights on the tails. Guess what? We have little blinky lights on our air pack right here. That's another tool that we use when, we're, when we are inside of a fire to find our partner. All right, you ready, Ashley? You can turn back around. So, boys and girls, what I want you to do right now is with your brains right here, I want you to take a picture of Miss Ashley's face right here and remember what she looks like. Because what she has to do now is put a mask on. Now, now this mask keeps the good air in and the heat, the smoke, and the nasty gases out. All right, you ready? So now she's got her mask on, and then she's gonna finish putting the hood on top of her head. All right, so boys and girls, what is Ashley missing now? How about a helmet? So she's gonna put her helmet on. Now remember, the helmet protects our head from things that can fall on us inside of a fire. All right, so now my friends, here comes the really important part, all right? Ashley's gonna take her air regulator right here and plug it into her mask. You ready? Here we go. My friends, this is what a firefighter looks like when we're all dressed up. More importantly, this noise right here is what we sound like. So boys and girls, if you're ever stuck inside of a building and you hear this noise coming for you, that's the good guys and girls from the Bedford Fire Department. We don't want you boys and girls to be scared of any of this. Boys and girls, listen, on behalf of myself, Firefighter Ashley and Firefighter Mike, I wanna thank you for taking the time out to watch our fire safety scavenger hunt here at our home at the Bedford Fire Department. Now remember, you boys and girls are gonna act as the teachers to the adults at home and help keep you and your family fire safe.